Rockstar Games just had a huge leak, and sorry GTA 6 fans, it's probably not the information you want to hear. We'll be talking about what that is and what it all means all in this video today. So as we are all anticipating Rockstar Games to hopefully talk about new GTA 6 news and info, in fact, they even just passed 20 million followers on social media here on Twitter or X. I don't think that really means anything to Rockstar, but it is a noteworthy accomplishment nonetheless. That's probably where a lot of you guys do get your Rockstar Games updates. But one massive update that happened over the last couple of hours happened on the PlayStation Store, and it has to do with Red Dead Redemption redemption coming to PC. So there have been rumblings for a while now that Red Dead Redemption would finally get a PC port, and it looks like that could be closer than ever to hitting Steam and other PC gaming storefronts like the Rockstar Games Launcher and possibly the Epic Games Store, as a leaked description on the PlayStation Network of all places points to an imminent launch. Now, if you try to go and look at it now, PlayStation has swiftly corrected their issue. I'm sure they were absolutely blown up by Rockstar Games and said, you need to remove this right away. But this is what it has to say under game and legal info. Experience the epic Western adventures that defined a generation, now on PC for the first time ever. When federal agents threaten his family, former outlaw John Marston is forced to hunt down the gang of criminals he once called friends. Experience Marston's journey across the sprawling expanses of the American West and Mexico as he fights to bury his bloodstained past into the critically acclaimed predecessor to the 2018 blockbuster Red Dead Redemption 2. Also included is Undead Nightmare, the iconic horror story that transforms the world of Red Dead Redemption into an apocalyptic fight for survival against a zombie horde. Featuring the complete single-player experiences of both games, including bonus content from the Game of the Year edition, Red Dead Redemption features all of the 2023 console version upgrades plus PC-specific enhancements, including support for increased resolutions and frame rates, multiple displays, and other accessories plus spatial surround sound. Red Dead Redemption does not feature multiplayer content. So wow, that is a massive leak and screw up on the PlayStation side of things. And I don't know why the PlayStation version would receive this sort of update. It's almost like it was a massive screw up on either PlayStation side or Rockstar side. I'm really not sure, but this seemingly all but confirms that Red Dead Redemption is going to be coming out on PC for the first time ever. Now, this isn't the first time we've sort of heard word of Red Dead Redemption coming to PC. Back in May, evidence emerged of a PC release via data mine text strings, which Rockstar had actually updated in its PC launcher site file with a new series of marketing strings. But this is definitely the biggest leak in terms of concrete info because it's not something that you could only see behind the scenes or if you were able to data mine some text strings. This is something that you could legitimately click on for a couple of hours and you could read that description. So it looks like it is going to be coming soon on PC. It's going to include single player and Undead Nightmare, and it also looks like it's going to include some very cool PC-specific upgrades like support for increased resolutions and frame rates. That's huge. The ability to play on multiple displays and have other accessories as well as spatial surround sound. Now, the only thing this is not going to feature is the multiplayer content. That is not surprising considering Rockstar kind of put the kibosh on that a few years ago. And this seemingly could happen very, very soon. Because remember, the Rockstar Games released Red Dead Redemption on PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch just last August, on August 17th, 2023. So this could be pretty convenient that one year later, Rockstar decides to put the game out on PC as sort of a nice homage and celebration to the anniversary of it coming out on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch, the most modern consoles it's been playable on since its release, of course. So this is massive, because obviously Red Dead Redemption is one of the few Rockstar Games titles that has never made its way to PC, and we really haven't figured out why. And so because of that, it's been mostly unplayable really since last year when Rockstar decided to make the game available on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch, because if you didn't have one of the older consoles 
still readily available, you wouldn't be able to play it unless you were using some sort of backwards compatibility program. So this is absolutely massive. It's going to open up this game to an entirely new genre of fans that might not have ever been able to experience this amazing world. But it also might come with some serious criticism, and that's because it has been over eight months since we have heard a word from Rockstar Games surrounding Grand Theft Auto 6. And if this truly is indeed the next announcement that they're going to make, it could be met with some serious displeasure from fans. Yes, there's going to be some parts of the fan base that will be very, very excited, but others saying, we don't care about this game that's going on a decade and a half old. We want you to talk about GTA 6. So there might be met with definitely some fire from fans there, although it does allow Rockstar to maybe sort of use this opportunity to give an overall update on what they've got going on. They've done this in the past where they've simply talked about other things happening, whether it be GTA Online updates or how they're going to approach Red Dead Online DLCs, and they've utilized that opportunity to sort of springboard and talk about GTA 6. So they could sort of piggyback off this a new announcement for Red Dead Redemption coming to PC and talk about some GTA 6 news. And if they don't, I feel like it's going to be a massive upheaval in the fan base. Now, the good news with this is is if Grand Theft Auto 6 is still scheduled to come out in fall 2025, which all signs are pointing to that from Rockstar and their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, this would be a Rockstar Games title that you'd be able to experience and sort of pass the time over until this game gets here. It's not going to be the most modern and up-to-date version of what you would expect from Rockstar, but it is still a new experience of a Rockstar Games title. And that is pretty cool. So we'll have to wait and see how this entire thing unfolds. It doesn't look like the announcement is going to happen today, even though we might be very, very close to it. As things currently stand, Rockstar Games is simply updating us on what's going on in the world of Red Dead Online. That's kind of ironic. You can only imagine what the responses to that will be when they make that post on social media. It'll be people saying, wait a minute. Why are you talking about Red Dead Online when you've got Red Dead Redemption on PC to discuss? So as always, I'll keep you guys posted if there is any new information to share. I cannot believe either PlayStation or Rockstar screwed this up so badly. But let me know what you think in those comments down below. Are you excited about Red Dead Redemption on PC? Will you be playing it? Do you not care? Do you wish Rockstar Games would just talk about Grand Theft Auto 6 and leave these old games behind? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. If you want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.